Dear students, welcome and thank you for tuning in to watch this video. I am Loyal Zobi. We are still talking about diffusion. This is the second video of the diffusion lecture, which is part of the biomaterials class. In this lecture, we're going to learn about some terms about diffusion in solids. Important for us to understand in order to move forward in the lecture. The first term we would like to learn about is something called interdiffusion. Please remember that we are talking about diffusion in solids. Alloys are defined as metals. In general, they are metals made of two, at least two elements either are cobalt chromium alloys or titanium cobalt alloy alloys this is what we mean by by an alloy and in alloys in these alloys atoms tend to migrate from regions of high concentration to regions of low concentration we're talking about solids now in order to explain this so let's assume that we have a material that is made of two elements this material this is element X and this is element Y we can see that they are separated and so we have 100% of element each circle here it represents an atom so we have 100% of them element x all in this region and 100% of element y is this region and uh, we can create something called concentration profiles concentration profiles are, ma are made along the space of the you know, spatial location or the spatial representation of the solid that we are looking at so we can say that uh, in this region i have 100% of my atoms the orange atoms or the x x and i have zero um, x atoms orange atoms in this region and I have 100% of my gray atoms here and 0% of my atoms, gray atoms in this region. So this is what we uh, define as concentration profile. Now, if we lift the, um, please remember this is a solid and if we made um, an, a material in such structure <coughs> with the two distinct regions of one for each element and we left it for, all, uh, for a long time or a specific period of time, if we came back to it and look at it again, it will have something similar to this schematic. So the high cons the orange atoms will try to diffuse into the gray region and the gray atoms will try to diffuse into the uh, orange region. And the reason why to, for this to happen is to reduce internal energy. And our concentration profile, spatial concentration profile, will look similar, similar to something like this. And this is the definition of interdiffusion in solids. So this is the first term we need to learn um, about diffusion in solids. Now, the second thing is something called self-diffusion. This is the second term we need to learn about. And in elemental solids, now we're not talking, please remember that in this um, example, we have two elements uh, making up our material. Now, if the material is made of only one element, so all of it, let's say it's zinc or it's cobalt, uh, it's not an alloy, it's one, it's a material made of one element alone. So that's what we call elemental solids. So atom, in elemental solids, also atoms tend also migrate and tend to move. So if we say that, if we label this um, atom here as a, in, as a this, is atom was, this atom was labeled in B, and this is C and D. If we left this material sitting for um, a period of time, after a while, and we looked at these at labeled atoms, we will find them that they moved from their original locations. And this is what we mean by self-diffusion. So atoms, even if the material, the solid um, material is made of one element, elements tend to, to migrate. Those atoms will tend to migrate and diffuse from one location to another location. So those are the two uh, definite terms that we would like to learn about and we're going to be using them um, in the following uh, videos. Thank you for watching and until next time.